You know, I loaded in and considered taking a job from here, but then I looked out the window. Um, and that's right, we blew everything up again. It's amazing how that happens. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be anything left in the yard that can be taken. Because um, <laughs> we decided that things needed to be destroyed. Uh, because because of who we are. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, this yard's a mess. We are we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. We're gonna look at something else somewhere else. But what we need to do is we need to see uh fees cleared, we know that, but how much money do we need to finish off these licenses? Four hundred K for military three and two hundred ninety thousand for has three. It's a lot of money. We still, like, we're not in debt. We do not have a debt to pay, uh, Jack Spada. And, uh, we, we have to make a bunch of money still, so we should probably... Ooh, lightning. Ooh, that's fun. We should probably find something rather splody to haul. Uh, so we're gonna go and we're gonna teleport to the oil well that we haven't blown up. Um, and then kind of look and see what we can do. Oh, and also... What's up, guys? This is Heiss. Yes, we're back again playing Dear Old Valley this week. Back with our career playthrough. Trying to get to the end of uh, <laughs> of career here. Uh, goodness, it's been a, a long a long haul, and I don't have easy techs anymore, do I? Those skins are all mirrored. Well, I should probably fix that at some point. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we were playing Dear Old Valley, trying to unlock everything in career and get her all done. Um, and, uh, you know, th then we can just go back to sandboxy fun stuffs. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a bit of a haul to try and make this, uh, make this career playthrough work. Um, so, shunting, shunting. I mean, people keep, keep telling me shunting is good, but... Oh, goodness. Oh, there's so much stuff to go to the harbor. Look at all these boys. That's the, that's the wrong direction. That's, that's, without, without bonuses, that's like 170 grand. And none of them are more than has two, so we could, 74, the 14, and the 87. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to have to go get a locomotive now. Um, right. I don't actually, I should have looked and seen. Uh, we, we teleported here. We did not bring a locomotive with us. Um. So what do we have? Is that a DE6 over there? Okay, well, we got a DE6. We can live with that. That's uh, that's totally serviceable. One DE6 should be enough for all this mess, right? 600 tons, uh, 700, oh God. Um, It might not be enough, but that's never stopped the ES and DT before. And uh, I see that we have been blessed with an ES and DT engine, so. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna do that. So let's go get that thing fired up, um, and then we will figure out where all the stuff needs to go in the midst of this uh, lightning storm. Come on, there you go. Kapow, kapow. The spirit of Kenosha. You love to see it. Hang on, we gotta got flips and breakers first. K tick, k tick, k tick. Um, and then we pop this open. There we are. All right, choo choo. Let's do it. Uh, oh, there's a handbrake. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Hey, we uh, we missed last week, and I know at least a couple of you noticed because people were messaging me in Discord about it. Um, <laughs> you can still hear it in my voice, <clears throat> or at least I can. Um, you guys probably can too. You've probably listened to me enough that uh, you can tell that I'm I'm still getting over my cold my sickness, whatever it was. Um, I was literally down with the sickness. Literally down, and literally just having sickness. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it was the flu or COVID or what, but um, I tested negative, but the COVID tests don't seem to pick up all the variants all the time and stuff these days. Um, so, I don't know. Anyway. Either way, if it was COVID, how vintage. Oh my goodness, right? <laughs> yeah, but uh, my voice still hasn't recovered, and I'm, I'm still just congested. Um, 
because it's winter and that's apparently what gets to happen and how I get to exist for, you know, the rest of uh, winter until until we see the giant flaming ball of hydrogen in the sky again. So. <laughs> well, we're going to pull this thing out the yard um, and then, then we are going to go and put the trains together. We got to figure out um, where those are, but we can run through the yard and get on the other end of things first for that, so. Oh, that's right, the lead the lead out from the A yard at the oil well here is super long. It's uh it's a whole thing. <laughs> Alright, get past the switch. Clunk 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 clunk. Slam the air on. And then get that clicked over into forwards here. And straight to 11. And uh, it's very wet out. Wheel slip, wheel slip circuit's doing its thing. You know, it's kind of interesting. This is um, an older export EMD, right? That's what the DE6 is modeling. I'm not sure it would have been shipped with a wheel slip circuit. Because that was a uh, that was a newer piece of tech, and by newer I mean like you know in the 1970s. It's a dash two thing. Uh, obviously they modeled it in Zero Valley, and it's a neat mechanic. Um, but I'm not entirely certain it actually was um, was a thing. I don't know. I've got no idea. But it's uh, it's neat in the game anyway. So, all right, we'll get this thing out. Um, to the throat of the yard on this side here. And we're, we're, do, we're doing yard speed. What's wrong with us? Apparently in my sickness, I decided I wanted to be safe, which is um, strange. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll sneak out the end of the yard here. And I don't think I'll have to get past the A yard switch. I think I, well, th these are all probably going to be in the B yard somewhere. So we'll just uh, park on the crossing here and annoy the residents of the oil well. And now we'll figure out where our cuts of cars are. 74, 14, 87. Doesn't matter what order. They're all going to the harbor. Um, and it's just going to do what it's going to do as far as the deliveries. These are like the shunting ones. They're not loaded. Um, all right. The 87's right there. What's this? Uh, 74. Okay, 74 and 87 are right next to each other, so uh, our random guess of the way that we grabbed the very well organized um, <laughs> jobs from the uh, the job desk here um, <laughs> uh, was wrong. Spoilers. And then the 14, it, it's got to be that one. I mean, yeah. All right. So we'll just bang, 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 and then we'll get out of here. And we're pr I, we're gonna be over tonnage. Like we just we're just gonna be. But you know what? There's um there's one hard pull. We're here. We're gonna be able to hit the hard pull pretty quick. And then I mean it's flat and then downhill. So even if we're over tonnage, um I bet you it will be okay. We'll we'll make it work. And worst case, we could probably grab another engine at the D at the uh, steel mill. He said. Hopefully that's not foreshadowing. <laughs> Come on, load up, you pig. The uh, the delay on the load is kind of obnoxious. The uh, the one time that I've allegedly operated an EMD, it wasn't a six axle, um, and people have said that the jeeps load up more quickly than the six axles do. So uh, my experience and your results may vary. Um, but the one time I allegedly ran a, oh god, break, um, ran an EMD, uh, it loaded, I mean, I was shocked at how fast it, it started moving. The rate of acceleration was immense. <laughs> and it's, um, <clears throat> I guess uh, that was also a turbocharged EMD, that one. It was a, allegedly a GP39-2. Allegedly the BNSF 2754. Allegedly. Um, <laughs> I, I should probably tell that on an episode of Stories from the Shop, but um, 
but uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I need uh, need to even say allegedly that that happened and publicly broadcast it to people looking for that. Uh, people at, at the sniff might get mad. Oh wow! Oh, we gotta kick off a break, Ice. What are you doing? And of course, it's on the other end. And every time I complain about the break uh, being on the other end, um, several of you in the comments always go, Yeah, but you just tie one random break in the cut, ya dick. And it's like, well, don't call me out like that. <laughs> You're so totally right. Uh, so I shouldn't complain. But, uh, but here we are. That's what I do. <laughs> so, and uh, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright, jump in. Uh, yeah, so, uh, roots blown, turbochargers, right? Uh, EMDs and loading and, and things, right? Okay, so, um, early EMDs were all roots blown. Uh, roots blower is a type of supercharger, right? So they're geared to the engine, um, and they use kind of clever geometry to suck in more air and then increase the, um, inlet air pressure to the engine, which... Um, does a lot of really good things for the sake of combustion and and speed and power. Um, in the automotive world, we like uh, we like turbochargers and superchargers. We like these things. They they make the car do the speed, uh, and we like it when the car does the speed. So um, it's a whole thing, right? Um, but the roots blower uh, is not as good as a turbo in many ways. Um, you know, I mean, the Roots Blower is older um, in design. I would, I assume, actually. I'm, I'm guessing there. I don't know for sure. Um, so one of you car guys, feel free and <laughs> tell me I'm wrong. Um, but, uh, yeah, the Roots Blower doesn't quite do the, the turbo thing exactly the same way. I mean, the Roots Blower is geared uh, off the engine, and it, and it technically robs some power before it adds power because it's just geared off the engine. Um, so you have to kind of get it spun up kind of quick for it to increase the pressure and do the thing. Um, and, uh, and then once it does it, then, then once you get the increased pressure, then your engine's way happy and then you get the, the boost, right? Because, like, turbo lag is a thing with turbos, but, I mean, it also kind of is a bit of a thing with uh, a blower, although less so. Because the turbo spins freely, uh, except not on an EMD, uh, which is a, a whole fun thing. Yeah, so the turbo on an EMD... Oh, God. Get me on the train. <laughs> Bayonets! <laughs> uh, right then. Dumped. All right. Ow. Oh, you son of a... Son of a shepherd. <laughs> to quote the, uh, the, the great uh, mythical being that is Rolf... You son of a shepherd! Yeah. You remember that show? Feels like they stopped. I remember when they stopped airing that show, and it feels like it was ages ago. But anyway. I'm gonna put this in notch one and then run back to the back of the train and then probably regret it. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah, EMD turbos. Um, they are a turbo asterisk. Because they're not really a turbo until they are. Um, they're driven on a centrifugal clutch. Um, so they're actually driven like a supercharger, like a roots blower, off of the engine, um, and an 18 to 1 gear up. So if the engine's spinning, you know, 1,000 RPM, the, the turbo is spinning at 18,000 RPM, which is screaming quick. Um, but, uh, they, they actually pop off the clutch, um, I want to say it's at notch 6 or above notch 6, I can't remember, uh, the exact detail on that um it's either at or above uh but point is you got to be at really high throttle for the turbo to pop off the clutch and actually have more boost uh than it would generate as a geared device right which is why they geared it because they knew that it wouldn't do much um until it did so that's that's why emd designed it that way and it's kind of brilliant but what it means is that when you put it in one and everything tells the engine, hey, speed up, and the engine speeds up, you're instantaneously getting more air to the engine to help it speed up. Um, 
which means that ev- the, the response is really snappy on a turbocharged DMD. Uh, at least in my experience, allegedly, right? But the blower, <coughs> uh, you know, the blower would do the same thing. It just moves less air, I assume. I don't actually know. I don't actually know what the what the air pressure difference would be between the blower and the turbo. Obviously, at notch eight, when the turbo is um, just doing the thing because it's there's enough exhaust pressure from the engine to spin the turbo fast enough to pop off the clutch and do the thing. Um, obviously, that's different, right? Um, and that's going to be more than presumably the geared roots blower. But I I don't know. I don't honestly know. God, this is going to be a long train of explodey boys. This is a mistake. Oh. I am the tank car. <laughs> Cuckoo kachu. Okay. I'm, I'm worried. I haven't picked up the jobs yet. Um, I'm worried that I'm going to have to pull so far away to clear that it might cancel the jobs on me. I hope that doesn't happen. I don't want that to happen. I want to run three jobs of boys. All the boys. We want to give them to beans. See? <laughs> Explodey boys. <laughs> and then we want to... Uh, snab. Yeah, that. <laughs> On the D, the DNSE. Or sorry, the DNS3. Oh, God. It's the third Durango and Silverton. Mr. President, there's been three Durango and Silvertons. Oh my god. That is, uh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, I need to, I need to re-download easy text, I guess. Because that's, um, that's what remaps the, uh, the cars so that they, uh, <laughs> they can have skins properly. That's funny. Well, I'm not sure why I ran back there to watch the end of the train, try and clear the switch. So... We'll run up here again, and then we'll we'll just keep pulling the stick until it clears. I guess we'll we'll just leave it in. We'll leave it in notch two. It's thirty nine cars, Connie. <laughs> it's not a coaster; it's under power. Um, <laughs> so that we can pop the air when we when we clear. Um, uh, sometime between now and the heat death of the universe. Yeah. <laughs> God, I, I really wish I could play. Uh, with the QOL stuff, um, I am I am honest to god tired of uh, of the F spamming um, and the lack of quality of life in realism mode. Right, like obviously the game's got awesome QOL and super cool things in Simulator, um, <clears throat> but uh, I've saddled myself with this because uh, because I'm stupid because I thought it would be entertaining. And hopefully it has been. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. But um, it is definitely... Uh, it, it is a bit of a slog, and I, I definitely feel the challenge of it. Um, it kind of It's kind of waning on me, or waxing on me. What, whatever. Decreasing. Increasing? Bearing? I don't know. There's a word there that applies. I'm not an English major. I'm not a military man. I'm not a sailor. Nor am I a blacksmith. Um, but that's fine. Bonus points if you can name the scene. Uh, or the movie. You are a blacksmith. Uh, hint. It's really easy because it's me. And it's probably the movie that I quote the most. Alright, we'll let the air recover and then we gotta shove this whole mess back. And I guess we'll just we'll leave it in notch two again, Connie. It's 39 cars. It actually might be 39 cars. Not right now. Right now it's it's probably... Well, maybe it is. How many cars are these jobs? I don't think it's quite 39 cars. We'll do some math. Maybe with all three of the jobs, it'll be 39 cars. And then, uh, and then you know, we'll get the, the triple seven and then uh, giggle. All right, do that. And then we will, we're gonna put it in run three and then probably regret that, but it's a lot of cars. Okay, so we had to run past the yard limit sign. Uh, so that does not bode well. But I can still st- see the uh, station glowy orb up there. So, I don't know. We might be okay. <clears throat> if there's a bunch more cars spawned in this yard, I'm going to be really sad. Um, and it doesn't look like it. I think we're okay. 
All right, yeah, concerns alleviated. We, di we didn't despawn the cars. So now we'll just ride the shove. Go knuckle into that last thing, and then we will, uh, we'll, we'll pull from there. How many cars is that? It's 10 per row if it fills up the row, so it's 13 on that job. Um, oh, goodness, and 18 on that one. Is that a, it is 31 cars. <laughs> um, oh, goodness me. Um, it's going to be 51 cars. 51 Splody Boys. Adding the locomotive, we've got a deck of cards of a train. Oh my word. Yeah, this is gonna go poorly. This is already going poorly. Look at how fast the shove is going. Um, the brakes take up forever to do stuff, so I'm just gonna pop that now. Um, stop. It's still slowing down. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I feel less nervous now. <laughs> It's fine. I, I really, um, we talked about it recently in, in the Long Train episode, um, a couple episodes ago, that, uh, we talked about, um, how it, it seems like the, the whole brake pipe has to vent for it to then start applying the brakes on the cars. Um, and I, and I really just don't think that's how that works. But I can understand why in software land, why you do that. Um, the, the more and more I learn about software, the more and more I hate it, and the more and more frustrating it is. Hi, Tristan. I know you're watching this. <laughs> Tristan is uh, is the the project manager of the the video game stuff that I do, right? Century Steam. Sorry, that's Mark. That's not Heist. Remember, remember how that works. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I had a funny moment recently working on the game, and uh, and I I was teaching somebody else something in, in Unreal and Tristan just started dying laughing uh, at the prospect of me teaching somebody the software stuff um, and then I, I mean then I laughed too because it was like oh my god I, I'm still clueless like I don't know what I'm doing but I kind of know what I'm doing kind of but it's fine sometimes the blind have to lead the blind right <clears throat> anyway that's still set in reverse in Notch 3. It's hopefully not melting things, but we need to get some jobs accepted here. And ev despite knowing that I've paid all my fees, um, <laughs> I still had the thought of, oh, it's not going to let me accept these jobs yet because I'm going to have to... Oh, wait, we have no debt. We have no debt to pay. And how did we choose to uh, reward ourselves with no debt to pay? We chose to haul 51 Splody Boys. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Um, this is gonna go poorly, probably. Oh, it is It is moving that whole cut now that everything's recovered. <laughs> the traction motors were getting warm. Okay, well. Let's do that. And we're gonna let it idle and then we're just gonna run the engine to run the traction motor blowers run everything as fast as we can get those a little cool all right god it's so neat that they simulated that <laughs> and we'll do that and then we're gonna kick the sand on and just put it put it in 11 go to heaven notch 10 we die like men oh goodness yeah okay i hear you I hear you. That's a long time to be stalling at 1,500 amps. <laughs> it's fine. Apparently, we don't need sand because we can't put any more traction down. <clears throat> We're not needing enough. But, uh, yeah, God. It, I mean, it is just walking away with it. The DE6. It's so strong. How much is this? 585 tons. 810 tons. So that's like vaguely 1,400 tons right there, right? Super close. 1,395, actually. Um, and then with another 756, 13, that, that's 1,401, 1,451, 2,150. Right? Did I do that math right? Is that 2,150 tons? Because 756 and 800, like that's 1,600 tons-ish. 
plus a plus another. Oh my god! Yeah, this is more than a two two thousand ton train. This is a honkin' chonkin' rolling bomb. We're about to recreate Lack Megantic. <laughs> oh my god! <clears throat> wow. Um, yeah, and the DE6 is just walking away with it. I mean, it's. It, I mean, it's. We're having a little traction motor heat trouble, right? As you do, but um, doesn't seem to care. I thought 2,000 tons was for the, the DE6 and slug. Maybe that's just out of the harbor grade that I'm thinking that number. One of you's done the math. One of you's experimented. Tell me, wh what is the tonnage of the DE6? Because I am certainly over it. <laughs> whatever, whatever the tonnage rating is with one DE6 and we're just doing the thing. This is killer. Dude, this is this is this is the worst tonnage to weight ratio. We had the best tonnage to weight ratio, you know, a couple months ago maybe. Um and and this is now the best. I mean, I mean the worst. <laughs> wow. I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. Obviously, we're on the level right now and and we're still having traction motor heat issues, but and uh, we'll have to see how that steel mill pull goes. But as long as we can get up to speed by the time we get there and then let the traction motors cool a little bit, I think we're going to be okay. <clears throat> I believe in it. I believe in a thing called love. If my voice was healed, I would try and hit those notes. If you know that song. The Darkness. I've covered that song <laughs> in two different bands somehow. Um, <laughs> not, on, not on vocals, but on guitar. Uh, but normally, yeah, when my voice is happy, uh, m my falsetto can hit that. So, not much of a singer. But I try, here and there. <laughs> now we need to turn on some lines. There we go. Alright, well, we're... I'm just gonna get it wide open. There we go. 60. We're probably line to the left. We're gonna have to line it to the right. We're gonna we're gonna basically hit the speed limit, and we we're not gonna let the traction motors cool. I don't think so. That might mean awful things for us uh, in terms of the log and pull. But holy crap, that's a lot of boys! <laughs> Look at all those sporty boys! Okay, we can see the end of the train. It's back there. Oh my word! <clears throat> it's fine. I would have rather had a steam engine, but you know, we got a diesel, and that's that. So. Speaking of steam engines, I saw a picture in my Discord of more of Satiric's madness. Uh, Satiric made the Wheeler Engines mod, which is just killer, and I finally updated it, so I actually have the rearranged S282 uh, mod back in the game again, so I was hoping that I'd find a steam engine so I could play with a weird wheel arrangement again. Maybe that'll be next time, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but he's he's working on making duplex locomotives, like, uh, like the pens he had. So two, two engine sets, which is just going to take that and run with it. I don't know if he's finished it or released it or, uh, or how his testing's going. You know, uh, Satiric, if you're watching, hello and thank you. Uh, and I'll pin your comment uh, <laughs> if you comment about what you're doing. But um, yeah, uh, so, like I saw a quick video. I think Fizzy just posted it or maybe Satiric posted it. It was a conversation between them two, I think. Uh, I posted that, and it was like, oh my god, it's got two engines. Oh, that's so cool. The, the, the traction motors cooled off when it went transition. Oh, this pole is not happening. This pole is so not happening. The, these traction motors are just going to explode. And now we're slipping the wheels. It's fine. All right, we're going to advanced cool the uh, the traction motors real quick. We're just going to leave it at full full engine RPM for as long as we can. We don't want to slow down all the way, though, so we're going to do that and then bang it wide open again. Come on. God, those heat up quick, don't they? <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to set some air. And, uh... Yeah, I guess we're going to have to go get another engine from the steel mill. Because <clears throat> we're not, like, to, to get it going as fast as we did, 
we we left from we left from the oil well like that um and god i don't know how far up the the alignment we are we're right in this bit this this long sweeping left hander i think so we did not make it far i mean the hill started there and we did not make it far up the hill and god you know our our train is probably still fouling the y so that sucks um we're gonna have to do some shenanigans to put an engine on the back oh crap we're gonna end up with an engine on the back unless we roll back down and and throw our progress away which maybe we have to do i don't want to do that yeah we we definitely proved the uh <clears throat> tonnage ratings uh i don't know what hill okay yeah we're fouling the y still by by how much by quite a bit uh yeah well at least we're not entirely fouling the y we can go down the other leg and put something on the back um which is probably what we're now going to end up doing but we we proved the age-old adage, adage of trains of uh hill hard go uphill is muy hard we don't like yeah because <laughs> it uh it, it'll pull the universe on level track but that's true of most locomotives um, as soon as you add uh, just the slightest little bit of grade, they don't like it anymore. So, anyway, we're gonna just keep running over to the steel mill here. I, I should have fast traveled, but um, I wanted to see where the train ended up. I wanted to know if I was fouling. I mean, I guess I could have fast traveled and then figured that out experimentally with my new locomotive, whatever it is. I swear to God, we're gonna get there, and there's gonna be two DE2s, and then it's just gonna be like, well, we're not doing that. But that's that's gonna be what it is. Maybe, oh, maybe there'll be a steam engine. It's not always a steam engine at the steel mill. I don't know. What are we gonna be blessed with? Do the Deerall Valley gods care? Or are they gonna punish us for blowing up stuff last episode? What do we have over there in the darkness? I can't see. I can't tell. Is it an SO60? No. Yeah. Oh my god, the world's brightest DE2. No one cares about you. But you. Is it a 280? It's a 280. So that means it's got more adhesion, it's got more weight on drivers. <laughs> S282. It's an S280, friend. And it's a yes and DT. It was meant to be. <clears throat> I don't remember what which which railroad the the violently bright red one is for. So, <laughs> all right, DE6 and an S282. We have to, we have to be able to pull this with that. Oh, but the the problem the problem is is that the S282 is going to be on the back, of, and there's going to be 51 cars in the middle. We're we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to run from the back one. Like, we're just gonna have to set the DE6 and then run from the rear, right? <laughs> Look at that. Look at those flamies. Mucho fuego. Fill box. This firebox shape is so strange. <clears throat> it's fine. Anyway. Just keep, just keep shoveling. Just keep shoveling. Yeah, God, because uh, with with 51 Splody Boys, if we run run from the front, we're going to we're going to end up blowing up this locomotive somehow. Um, it's going to blow up, and then it's going to cascade up the train, and everything's going to blow up. Um, and nobody likes that, <laughs> so we're we're going to have to manage it from the from the back. Because we can't just, like, throw this on a go. I was kind of hoping it would be a D6 that was here to make it do the thing. But, yeah. But, no, it's a 280. Which is, you know, uh, as many fun wheel arrangements as there are in the mod, the 280 is kind of plain. But I can live with it. That's fine. It's not a 282. It's, it is statistically actually the most common wheel arrangement ever made. At least in the U.S. I don't know about worldwide, but... Oops, always two. It's all, it's all two eight O's. Always has been. 
headlight selector switch. Why is it on the fireman's side? Why do you do this? Go! Doof. Yes. Okay, well, so we're gonna have to run around the Y, right? So we're gonna wanna... We're gonna wanna nose out so that we end up facing the right way. Because so we're gonna go down and then we'll back up and then, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna nose out to do it. <clears throat> Get beans here. Pull my finger! Don't, don't, don't pull my finger. Cannot advise. I'm lactose intolerant. <laughs> if you pull my finger, we will all have a sad time. And nobody wants that. I love cheese. Cheese does not love me. A poem. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> yeah, I've, um, I'm actually planning on doing a video about wheel arrangements. Um, I've got it. I've, I actually scripted it. Um, it. It is a video that I am scripting because almost everything I do on YouTube um, is not scripted. I work better without a script typically, and I just do the thing and then uh, record it and then throw it together. Um, <laughs> because I'm really good at BSing. There you go. That's my secret. Um, <laughs> So I actually, I, I wanted to go through the list of the most popular wheel arrangements and why and kind of explain them. So I've been planning on doing that video. So I scripted it so that I could make sure I'm not like forgetting a wheel arrangement or something, you know? Um, and as a part of doing a little bit of the research for that, uh, yeah, 280, most common in America. I made 35,000 of them, which is hilarious. Um, and then, oh, my lamp. Um, and of the 35,000, the Penzi, the Penzi had like 5,400 of them. They had 5,400 280s. The Pennsylvania Railroad probably had more 280s than Colorado had locomotives in it. Like, <laughs> the Rio Grande did not have near that many engines. So yeah, 280, very common. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Yeah. Yes, I am trying to die. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shout out Caleb Bleach if you're watching. I don't know if you watch my video game stuff or not. Uh, but if you do, shout out. Caleb 3D printed me a little uh, builder's plate looking plaque that says, get back in the cab before you die. <laughs> based on uh, Antimatter's original joke on the on the first the first Derail Valley skin that I had for uh, any ESD anything. Yeah, Antsy did that and it uh, made me giggle quite a bit. So slug it. Fill it full of the black burny rocks. Alright. Now we've got places to be. Come on. It's wide open. kick the water on here. I should probably put my backup light on. And the whistle agrees. 60? Alright. Oh, sh oh, crap! 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 No! No! Oh! Oh my god! I didn't check the alignment of the switches! How did that not derail or explode or... Oh my word! That was not faked! That was legitimate panic! Oh my- Oh, uh, uh, cockatoo sounds! Swear words! I- I am in shock that I just did that. <laughs> just not paying attention, and then- Oh my- Oh no, it's gonna be in the foul now, isn't it? Oh no! No, we've just ruined this! Is it in the foul? Oh no, it's a shortcut. Oh, I can't tell. Why do we always play at night? Why is it always night shift? Somebody's gonna be smarmy in the comments and tell me to sleep on the couch. Yes, I know. I know that the steam engine no longer loves me because I just rammed into a pile of scrap at 60 kilometers an hour. And if it was Railroader, the tender would have become brown. Um, <laughs> I'm aware that I should be sleeping on the couch. Um, but uh, uh, no, somehow none of that happened. Um, 
And yes, I could sleep on the couch, but I, I like I like being saddled with what the railroad gives me, and I and I worked night shift on the railroad, so like it's a whole thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. That that, ladies and gentlemen, that is why you normal your switches <laughs> per, per rule book. Per special instructions. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm I'm literally in shock that I just did that. It's it's a video game, who cares? But it was just like Oh, that's bad! <laughs> okay. Uh, back to originally scheduled programming. <laughs> I cannot believe that we did not destroy this locomotive or derail it or anything. That's insanity, man. Just insanity. Alright, we're just gonna shut that off now. We're gonna shut all the dampers and hope that there's no icebergs, <laughs> aka more scrap cars. Oh, we did derail some of them. Some of them went in the dirt from the collision. There was at least one in the middle that <laughs> that went on the ground. So uh, we're gonna have some fees. We're gonna have to pay some of that. <laughs> there, there, you know that song? There are no bills. There are no fees. No, there are bills. There are fees. It's heist playing Derail Valley. Spoilers. Uh, there are no refrigerators to move unless you're moving out to the food factory. We <laughs> gotta move these refrigerators. <clears throat> move these color TVs. Which? Uh, how old is the song? They had to specify it was a color TV. That's how old the song is. It's fine. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we're uh, Operation Get Out and Push is officially about to be underway here. And the whistle has a lot to say. I'm not sure why. Oh, we had the throttle slightly open. Do the brakes work on this train? Come on. Stop. I mean, we were going kind of quick, but... Full independent... It's interesting. Like, that. that, that is... This is way worse braking performance than real independent brake <clears throat> on a locomotive, uh, in my experience. But, um, then, like, Railroader, another, uh, you know, another game in the space, just has it be too light. Or, oh, well, it was too light, now it's way too heavy, actually. Um, which is the comparison. Like, god, you stop on a dime now. They increased all brake force, and, and they should have, they should have made all those forces be different things, you know, based on source. If they wanted to do train, like, train sim type stuff. And I, I'm firmly in the camp at this point that Railroader should just do the railroad management thing, because it does that that's the fun part of that game. Um, and they should throw out any any semblance of attempting to sim the locomotives because um, that's not what they're trying to do. At least it doesn't feel like what they're trying to do. Um, if they are trying to do it, well I I would have some choice words. <laughs> But Deerall Valley <clears throat> is kind of the flip side of the coin, right? Where it's very much simming the details of the locomotive and uh, and how the locomotive performs. Uh, so yeah, uh, the brake force should go up. My uh, my good test bed uh, reference is that when we dumped the air on 20 as a test um, at track speed at the Coombrace and Toltec, she stopped in 90 feet. 90 feet from 25 miles an hour 90 feet like <laughs> it's absurd like and obviously that was a dump right so that's like crazy 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 brake pipe uh, all that stuff dunk um, so you know a different situation than um, <clears throat> than anything else um, but uh, yeah I mean come on all right so we'll Open the damper again. We're full of water right now. God, what do we do? We're just gonna leave it trying to compress the train a little bit. Run up to the head end, reset the air, and then go from there. I didn't cut the air in on the steam engine because Dero Valley, um, if I have one complaint, if they could fix one thing for me, uh, like just add the cutout cocks from railroader like like the engines really have um, <clears throat> to cut the brake stand out because the Dero Valley's MU 
or multiple locomotive of different brake type that they just do not like it is not a fun experience trying to figure out what the hell the brakes are doing because you you can't just say no you don't do anything you do not contribute to this you do not pass go you do not collect 200 dollars. which well, i mean that's that's how it really is you just cut it out and it's done um and that would make so much more sense to at least me um and I'm at, I mean, I, I don't think that would be too hard for everyone else to figure out, too, you know? <clears throat> okay, what notch do we leave it in? Not that one. I guess we leave it in two. And then we go shove harder, and then I guess we're just going to break my F key. And, and hope that we don't go backwards. This is just a bad, bad idea. This is not smart. I cannot recommend operating trains like this. I heard a doof. It chuffed. So, the wheels are moving. It chuffed again. And again. Is it going forwards or backwards, though? I can't tell through my running through the woods here. It's probably going backwards. It has to be going backwards. Oh, it's absolutely going backwards. Oh, Christ. Why is this train so heavy? Why did we do this to ourselves? <laughs> it's a 67 minute time bonus. Can we get it? Uh, probably not. Brakes. Wide open. Come on. Fill it full of coal. It is accelerating in reverse, and I've got it full beans. This is a heavy train. Now the water's gone. Well, because we're on the flat, that's why. Are you doing anything, DE6? Oh my god. I almost want to tie the air in and dump it. I can't see anything. Welcome to night nighttime in Dero Valley. God. Okay, I, you know that comment about me being a dick about uh, sleeping on the couch? We probably should have slept on the couch, I'm sorry. You're, you're right. Come on! You get it? Okay. Stop! Cease! Desist! Dump! Come on, game! See what I mean? Let me cut out air. If I if I connected this and dumped the brake pipe, the dump is the dump. It is a big hole. It opens a hole in the brake pipe. It doesn't matter. Actually, I I don't even know. I don't know enough to say whether or not it works, whether regardless of if you're cut in or not. Actually, my brain wanted to say that, but I don't know how true that is. Um, but like. Oh man, yeah, it, it's brake shoes are mad. Shocker. Um, can we just, we'll just pop that. We'll just dump it from here. Why did why did I look at it? Why didn't I just open the angle cock? Heiss. What are you What are you thinking about, friend? <clears throat> God, we're at the farm, and the brake shoes are glowing. It's fine. Good lord, what a dumpster fire. Okay, yeah. Anyway, it's fine. Okay, this time with feeling, go, do. I don't care if your brake shoes are pissed. I wonder if we've melted the traction motors on the lead engine. Gotta break my F key real quick. So many people have suggested mods for this and it's like, no, we're, we're, we're committed to the realism stupid. We're gonna do it, darn it. Uh, the only mod that we're living with is the the uh, the S two eight two rearranged because it's funny. <laughs> oh my god! Are we gonna make the time bonus? I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the harbor at this point. Still, I was so like, oh yeah, no, this is great. Oh yeah, it. That's why it broke something. I don't know if we smoked a traction motor, but they uh. Some bloody DE6. Even in Notch 2? Who's more annoying to, to babysit right now? 
The DE6 or the, the S282? Come on. Move. Move your butt. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. <clears throat> Can we see the steam engine from here? No. It, it's, it's now fog. So, cool. Really? I'm gonna slip now? Come on. This thing is whiny like the DE2 when it's overloaded. Yeah, I, I made a I made a lot of comments at the beginning of this video about about the DE6's tonnage rating, um, and on the flat, I mean it. Yeah, it'll pull the world, which they all will. But yeah, right now on the hill, these traction motors are mad. Did we break one? Is one of them zapped? Doesn't look like it. We're gonna have to go check on that steam engine sooner or later. I don't think I left it with any water going. The water was really high, but it doesn't mean anything. <clears throat> but this thing needs, like, constant attention to do anything. Put that right to the limit. It's fine. Can I leave it? Can I leave you in two now that we're, like, rolling? Can I leave you in three? The needle's not moving much. If we slow down, it'll be a problem. But as long as we keep moving, it'll be okay. All right, steam engine, I'm coming to I'm coming to check on you, buddy. Don't blow up on me, please. It smells like Kenosha's playing right now. Um, I'm gonna be a sad man. Something is shrieking. Oh god, are we just blasting through the brakes on the- Yes, we are. No wonder it's not working that hard. Alright, check the water, ding dong. Oh goodness, okay. Push. Push for all your worth, bucko. Come on. Well, we are using some water, but we're gonna just give it a, a slight, slight amount of water. <clears throat> Full of fuel. You doing the thing. <laughs> 52 cars, right? Uh, 51 cars and a locomotive at the front, so like 52 plus... 54 total, but I mean, this is this is worse than 52 card pickup. Like, alright, we're gonna engage Jesus. <laughs> Just go over the hills and far away. And hopefully find a locomotive at some point. In the dark. I hear it. Where's the track gone? <laughs> Dear Old Valley's a horror game. Okay, there we go, there's the train. Okay, now that we're not trying to slow down and speed up the train at the same time from the rear end with the steam engine, now it's kind of, this is kind of working, it seems like. God, we can't, these traction motors are too hot. Okay, I'm gonna shut off. We're gonna rapid cool the traction motors the best we can. But we can't let it get that slow. So it's if we gotta keep gotta keep the power on. Load, load, darn you! Come on. Why can I hear the chuffs here now? That's bizarre. Oh my god! Come on, train. You are just a worthless pile of garbage. Okay, we're gonna let the traction motors cool off and try again. And we're wasting all the sand in the steam engine, but it's fine. Cool off, come on! Help a brother out. <clears throat> Get all the way down to 30 which is apparently what the minimum of the gauge is. 30 degrees, <laughs> that's, that's still pretty hot. I mean, I know Australia gets up to, you know, 45 Celsius, but 
So we're not even at summer's day yet, but. Yeah, recover, come on. Do we have enough starting tractive effort to start this pile? Stop! Why are you getting so hot so fast? The air, the air, oh my god, the brake pipe is just... It's gonna take forever to recover, that's okay. So every car is still set up like a crap ton. Okay, we are rolling backwards though, so... Give it some power, come on. Don't make me go find another locomotive. <laughs> 20, 2,000 tons was a mistake. That steam engine's probably bog full of water by now. Or exploded. There's no in between. You're not even in the yellows for the amps since the temperature of the traction motors is just going sky high. And it's rolling backwards. Absurd. Alright, well we need to hit it with some speed then, so... Go. Do. Whoop. We'll go handle that from the rear. Go run to the chuffing thing. Oh, well we can't- well, do we- do we engage Jesus or not? I don't know if we engage Jesus, because, uh... And we have to teleport onto the bridge. Which I don't know if we can. <coughs> <coughs> Our teleport dis distance is very sad. Oh, well, we found the train, so. There we go. There's the there's the light bulb of the headlight back there. And at this point, put the, put the steam engine in, in the runaround at the farm. And then put them both on the head end. You know, normally I would try and keep them separated for the funny, for the content, but that's actually probably the smartest thing I could possibly do. Is just put put the steam engine in the runaround, and then let me manage both of these engines. And then it'd make for an easier thumbnail. You know what, and I like, I like making easy thumbnails. Uh, so you know what, we're gonna do that. We need to turn off the darn sand, that's for sure. Alright, air is disconnected. Disconnect for that. All right. Save my sand. There's yeah, it's chock full of water. Okay, good. That there was a switch there that we could have used, but I can't see anything, and and lag is just happening. God, last time, last. Time. We're gonna repeat a fatal sin from the steel mill adventure. And we're gonna line ourselves into a track and then and then destroy life itself. Okay. And we're just gonna pray that, that doesn't run into anything. Get me in the choo-choo. Yeah, whistle. Hi. And why is it lagging so bad? I'm getting like, well, I mean, lagging so bad. I'm getting 30 FPS, um, but I'm used to way more than that. <laughs> and through the fog, somewhere, on some track, there shall be a train. I hear it. Oh my god, that's creepy. This game is a horror game. The train appearing out of the darkness. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna start over from the farm. Oh my god. One hit, one hard pull, and it's all downhill from there. Ha 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 ha. Right. 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 <laughs> no. No, he's punishing this mortal for his hubris. Why aren't you guys boys? Why aren't you skinned as boys, all you orange tank cars? You're supposed to be the boys. The blue ones are. The white ones are. That's the that's the DNS three. Remember? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean the ES and D. God, this is a lot of boys. There's a lot. There's a lot of train. 
Oh, this is a mistake. I want the time bonuses because I want the money. But I've been recording for 47... So we still have 20 minutes, even if I started at the beginning. I've been recording for 47 minutes, so now you know exactly how much I've cut out the episode. Oh, but I had to pause the recording. But we were still switching while we paused the recording. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the, what the time is, but presumably still at least 20 minutes to go and to get to, I mean, and, and it will not take us 20 minutes to get to the harbor. Like, if we can get the train to do the thing, uh, it will not take that long. And there it is. There's our sad, stupid DE6. And we just dump the air. Let's clear the switch. Dump the air, let it recover, and it'll just keep slowing down. Set the independent, and then we go find our choo-choo, which we probably should have put the headlight on, not the backup light. Oh my word, why is that so laggy? That was weird. Uh, yeah, if you're, if you're seeing lag in this video, it is not just OBS pooping itself like it likes to do. Um, which, by the way, we, we tried to do the, uh, the whole engine crew thing last time. Um, and, and live stream the thing and show it off. Uh, and it just ruined, OBS could not cope. With, uh, with me also showing to Discord in it, and it, the encoding just died. Uh, so I won't do that. It was a fun thing the one time, but uh, it's not, uh, not, not the best for the actual production of the content, unfortunately. <clears throat> so we'll just do other fun stuff with Engine Crew. And we do. So you should join the, uh, you should join us uh, uh, in the ESN Discord uh, and join one of the, the YouTube tiers we hang out. It's fun. But, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the, the game is lagging for some reason. I don't know why. I've never really had problems with it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a mod thing somewhere, some why. Because my computer is not the best, but it uh, it's no slouch. Got an i7, I think it's a 13700, 13700K. Um, it's got 12 cores and they're pretty quick. Or maybe that's 6 cores and then they're, they're hyper-threaded to 12. But I think it's actually 12 cores and it's hyper-threaded to like 20 or something. I don't remember. Um, that, and then I have a 7900 XTX GPU from AMD. So like, it they, it should do the thing, you know? Alright. Come on. Come on, there's a good lot. Bang. Alright, tie that in. I won't tie the brakes in for aforementioned reasons. Kick the air off. Put it in forward. Give it a couple clicks of throttle. You don't need the poor whiny DE6 being mad about its existence. And just rip the stick to full over here. Okay, we still have a lot of sand, which is good. We have a lot of water. Alright. And now we have a lot of coal. And I don't care if we waste steam out the safety valve. We've got places to be. Why is it so loud in here? Like the door is open. Oh, because the window's open. That's why. I like that they programmed that fun little difference in sound. It's cool. Alright, sand. And just... I mean, we're gonna we're gonna spice these traction motors. Like, we, we gotta get places. We gotta get this train moving fast. Because we, 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 we know that we do not have the ability to start it on the hill. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. You're getting hot. I'm getting hot. All right. Cool down. Chill off. Let the steam engine take it for a second. Got a similar amount of sand on this. That's good. Okay. And now we pull it open vaguely far. Let's try and keep the temp stationary. While it's moving it. Oh, but then it's transitioning. Okay. That's good. That's good news for our temp. So we're going to just leave it there. Hop to the engine and we'll check on what's going on. Choo choo. Yep. Choo choo's happening. Yes, whistle. Astute observation. Okay, we're going to kick some water on. And we're hooking the bar up a little bit just because. Yeah, the, 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 the steam has disappeared a little bit. 
which is understandable because it was in the corner with the throttle wide open, you know, and we're doing, what, 50, so. <laughs> okay. We haven't, here's the switch. Yoink. That's not ideal as far as speed goes through that switch, but who cares? Can I get this thing wide open? If I can get this thing wide open, I'm just gonna keep it wide open. It is heating up a little bit, but I think that's gonna be good. And we're, we're, we're just gonna have to watch speed. If we slow down, we're gonna have to deal with that DE6. And we know that. Okay, the water's good, so we're gonna shut it off. We're gonna hook it up a little bit more, try and get a little bit more steam back. Come on. Giving you all the fuego I can, my friend. Should probably turn the headlight on. <clears throat> With whistles going all over the place. Fire is pegged. They are getting a little bit more in terms of steam, but we are slowing down. Which means I'm going to have to start mitigating this DE6 so it doesn't melt its traction motors. Not yet. Come on. We're doing 35. We're still, and and, we're, and we're, where we got stuck last time just underwent transition, so the heat's gonna increase more. It's not blowing up yet. Let's check the steam engine. What are you doing? Oh, you're popping the safety. Give us everything you have. I'm worried what you heard was, give me a lot of bacon and eggs, and what I said was, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Okay. We're gonna have to come out of notch 11. Dial it back just a couple. And the, the heat is recovering significantly. But it's going to get worse as the speed goes up. But thankfully, we uh, we made some more steam happen. And now that we're running slower, we can keep the, the reverse further in the corner. Oh my god, and the junction's right here. Uh, we're going to make it, I think. Knock on wood. Knocking on wood. Knock on wood with me, everyone. Um, I think we're going to make it. I need more water in this choo-choo, though. And the traction motors have not gone nuclear yet, but they're they're thinking about it. There's the switch. The junction! The junction! <laughs> Come on! Come on, train! If we can make it in this go, we have we have a snowball's chance of making the bonus for at least one of the jobs. Oh, God, I haven't even looked at the switching. I don't even know where they need to go. How's the water doing? Not good. Got it. Pour it on. I want water. I want water. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where do you go? You go to the D4 and oh my god, D4, G5, E9. They all go to different track. I mean, they're long. They're long cuts, but oh my god. Yeah, we're not going to get time bonuses for multiple of these, I don't think. We might get them for one. Okay, I'm going to hook it up. Try and save some of the steam. Give it more coal. <clears throat> That's doing the do. And these traction motors have not exploded. And they are cooling down. So we're going we're gonna to give it the beans. Wide open. <laughs> this is... Uh, <laughs> This is a heavy train. I rescind my statements about the DE6's handling. <laughs> Alright, and here's the other switch. We got places to be, man. Keep that reverse just hooked up. Nice and high. Speed! Come on! Alright, water's back up to kind of a happy spot, so I'm gonna shut it off. Keep it keep it cracked, because I mean we're we're using a lot, just running as fast as we are, I'm sure. Right, yeah, we probably don't need sand anymore. Save that. That's wide open. Alright, well, okay. So let's think think about what we got. Our consist is set up so that the uh, the 74 is at the front, right? It's 74, 87, 14, so our back consist is at the E9. 
The middle consist has to go to the G5. Oh, oh no, this isn't gonna work. This has to go to the D4. We might be able to get two time bonuses, maybe, if we if we can get to the harbor in good enough time. Um, the move is gonna be, we run through the E yard, we drop the E9 cut on the way, run all the way out the end, back through the G5, drop that off, and then zig back into the D4. And that should be relatively straightforward. All right, it says 12. I like a two digit speed limit. <laughs> Who doesn't like a two digit speed limit? Come on. Pour it on, I want speed. There we go. Still two digits, 10. Go train, go. Come on, come on. Fire is glowing violently orange in there. The box has become yellow. Yeah. Thank God I didn't fall off. All right, 70. I mean, with this heavy of a train, you gotta work for everything. Every little ounce of speed. That's a 70 right there, and we're doing we're doing more than 70, but we're gonna we're just gonna keep the hammer down. We know that we can go 10 faster than everything at, at bare minimum, right? So we're just gonna keep the keep the hammer on. Hammer ons and pull offs, man. Right, it's back to 80 here, so just gonna just gonna keep sending it. I'm just gonna send it. Guys, okay, silly. I'm still gonna send it. <laughs> All right, 70 again, but we're doing not quite 80 and 76 apparently. So just gonna we're just gonna keep the hammer on. I'm like we're just we're just doing it. I'm gonna get some more water in this thing. I hook the bar back up to save some steam. So we're we're using it uh, like it's going out of style. I'm not doing 80 yet. Oh, that's right, we don't have any air brake control from up here, so when we do need to slow down, we're gonna have to jump back. When we get to the tunnel. Which is proper soon. I shut off the steam engine. Just let it do the thing. The tunnel's gotta be right here. Yeah, there it is, okay. Yeah, 60, 60 to the right, and we're doing, uh, 75. It did not come off violently right then, so, uh, I guess we're just gonna keep, uh, just be happy with that. We're gonna shut down, and we know that we've got a sharp curve coming up, so we're just going to take a nice big meaty set. It's a bar. It's a 15-pounder. Oh, God. There's the four. Here we are. We got a lot of air set up. That's 50, okay. God, the sand's still on. All right, so now we wanna let the air recover because we don't wanna stop. Come on. Just get it wide open. Careen around this thing going at least 40. Come on. God, it's just slowing down still. It's gonna take forever to recharge. Come on, don't stop. I know that I'm demanding a lot of 50 cars, but good word, come on. We're gonna pull against it downhill, apparently. And this did not go nuclear when we tipped over, that's good. <clears throat> At least now that the steam engine's on the front, if it does decide to go ca oh, crap. If it does decide to go Cthulhu mode. <laughs> that flash as the traction motor is exploding, by the way. <laughs> We'll cut those back in, and uh, did we break one for reals? No, we did not actually permanently damage the locomotive. We did not melt one traction motor. Um, yeah, if the steam engine decides to go Cthulhu for some reason, um, it will not be endangering my train, because it'll throw its bits out the front, and that'll be that. All right, so we're gonna give it some water. We're gonna let it kind of die back otherwise. And yeah, we gotta, beans. We need beans. Come on. 
Done. We could be doing at least 40 through all of this. If not 50. So we're gonna we're gonna try and get this thing up to 50. Because we I mean we 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 have places to be. If we want to get these bonuses. Because, I mean, the, the jobs are worth, like, what, 200,000, right? It was that 60k, 60k, and something, right? I mean, we can look. We have the power. 50 or so. 48s, but basically 50k, right? Um, and then 63. Okay. And then the last one, 62. So, yeah, I mean, 120 grand... Plus, fit, like, 170,000 without time bonuses. With time bonuses, theoretically, another half if we could get all of the bonuses, which is intrinsically hard. Um, okay, we're going to shut off and just kind of let it roll. Take a cute little set, because we don't want the train to murder us violently uh, in terms of speed. Because this, I think this is a four around this, and, and we're, we're doing 56, which is a uh, little much. Dynamics? We have dynamic brakes. That's right. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> See? Planned it. Orchestrated, just like that. I think he's a little dynamics. Um, but yeah, uh, half then again of 170 thou. I mean, that's that's going to be close to enough to buy the Has 3 license if we got all the time bonuses. Um, we may not get any of the time bonuses. We're going to try our darndest to at least get one, if not two. Which means that we're gonna have to do some stupid crap. We're gonna, cause we're gonna have to sprint across the yard. That's the, that's the problem with trying to get the time bonus. Cause we'll pull in and stop, but like we'll drop the cars and let the train roll. But then we have to run across the yard anyway to get back to the, um, the Harbor Yard office. All right, we got a 40 coming up right shortly here and we are doing too much speed. So we're just gonna give it every kind of break we can. and pray. It's fine. Just careening around this with all of the brakes. <laughs> oh my god. Can't believe that didn't come off. And the sun rises on the, on the dawn of the fifth day. Look to the east. <laughs> Good. Good. Coming into the harbor. Here we go. Lots of dinos. Just a cute baby set. I mean, a third of a bar, so five, a five-pound set, really, um, on the brake pipe, which is ideal. Nice minimum reduction, basically, in it, and it's holding us back. Just enough. We can scream around and do this. So, yeah, I think, I think the move is it's uphill on the other side, so we run through the yard, cut the last cut of cars... Um, and then we we just let the the train just roll, line the switch to the G yard, and then on the way uh, on the way running back to the office, because we're gonna have to run over and sprint to the office to get the um, the jobs turned in anyway. But we might as well line the train through the G yard to give us the best shot at getting two bonuses if the timing's working out. But we, we don't know, you know, we don't know what we don't know yet. I'm just gonna leave this in full dinos. And we're, we're gonna watch. It's not even a sneeze. I know, I know, but we're, we're hanging out, okay? Is this thing like plug full of water now? Probably. God, yeah. It says, yes, I'm so full of water. Please help me. Alright, we're. Hopefully we're lined through. Okay, well, we're at least not lined into the shop. That would have been a disaster. <clears throat> Okay, I will take this out of full dinos because we're not uh, not going to accelerate much more, if at all. And now we have to line ourselves through E9, right? E9. And the, the 12 and the 230 are the cars that uh, are the ones the ones we need to cut off. The 12 and the 230. Alright, well, we're just going to ride the right up here by our, our friendo, the headlight. Oh, man. <laughs> How close is it gonna be? Are we gonna do it? I don't know if we're gonna get it. It looks like we're not quite lined into the E9. That can't be the E9 because it's got cars on it. 
that's got oh oh no oh no oh that's the eight okay so seven eight and we are now lined into the nine all right so we need to go find find which set of cars it is that train's orange and blues oh and these are white and stripey so the orange and blue cut is what we need to do and it's the 12 and the 230 the orange and blue thank god that the color coding is a thing all right so that that must be the the, the 12 or the 230 right there that's the 230 all right so this it's this joint right here oh my god get get me on the train thank you <laughs> all right so we bottle the air And, and we're gonna just roll on now. And I get, yeah, I guess we could separate, right? Save us a step. And then we just need to pop the air and tie a brake on this at the right time. Wanna make sure it's gonna make it all into the, into the siding. It's a pretty long cut of cars is the problem. Okay. Almost all there. We're going fast enough. There's enough siding left. I'm gonna pop the air now. Okay, air's popped. Tried to tie a brake. Trying to tie a brake. Still trying to tie a brake. Brake is tied all the way. Okay, that is there now. That's great. We're just gonna let this roll. Uh, the next cut goes to the G5. So we're gonna line it through the G5 as we're running to the station. And pray that we can get it there. Oh my god, we still have a diesel sitting there? Why do we have a diesel sitting there? I'd ask who put it there, but I know it's me. <laughs> but when? How long has that diesel been there? It's fine. Okay. So we gotta let the train pass the switch, which we're assuming it's going to. That's lined to the right, which should line us to the G yard, I think. We'll find out. This is the switch. Because that that goes off to the, the pile of mountain Mount Doom where the, the slug came from. Okay. So line that switch. Um, and does it go... Does right take us to the passenger yard or to the G yard? I think it just takes us to the passenger yard. So we're gonna go left, because because we know it's not to the uh, the, the, the the Mount Doom as it was, right? Uh, so it must be over here. And what did we say it was G five? Yeah, this is the G yard. Good. Okay. G five. G five. G five. G five. G five. Okay. So we line it across and in. So lined right, lined. Or rind, rind left, lined left, lined right into G5, and it is G5. Okay, and now we do the mad dash. I can see the station. You've heard the hundred meter dash. Well, this is the thousand meter F button. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the station, but it's Conex boxes. Uh, the station's right there. <laughs> is gonna tell us exactly how the rest of this adventure is gonna go okay station oh my god here we are all right capel 60 minutes oh my god we're gonna make more than one time bonus probably oh that's 94 grand yes seven minutes to go to spot the rest of this oh crap we have seven minutes to spot two more cuts oh i don't think we can get all i don't think we can get all three maybe we can get all three we can't run through we have to kick these cars we have to kick those. Oh my god, but we gotta get back to the train. And my oh, my elbow hurts from spam the button. These two fingers. Two fingers. Two fingers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Seven minutes. Except we got, we got, we got one time bonus, we want three. Three's gonna be, no, three. If I get three, oh my word. I will be so pleased with myself if I get three. Here it comes, perfectly on time. Okay, uh, uh, stripey white, okay, God, they're the same. Um, so we need to kick 834 and 366 are the, uh, uh, are the ends of that. Oh my God, seeing these at this speed? Maybe we just try and get the one, 92? Who's the 92 with? 890? Okay, 890. I don't, I don't see those in this job. But it has to be in that job. Oh, it was right in the middle. Okay, 92. 858. Which way is it going? 858. Okay, uh, one, two, it's five more cars. Um, 
366. All right, we need to pop this joint right now. Create some separation. Get the comms radio. Throw the switch. Yes, yes. Tie the air, Put, dump the air. Come on, stop, 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 stop. Stop! Tie the brake. It didn't overrun. Get to the head end. We need to get to the head end. God, who do we trust to start this train faster? The DE6 or the S282? Sorry, the S280. Uh, neither of them. Neither of them. God. We're just gonna put full, full reverse, full beans, full sand. Go. 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 I don't care. Go. 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 We'll see you in just a second. Just go. Just go. You have things. Okay, bye. <laughs> I gotta go turn that other job in. And then we'll catch it at the station. It'll probably be going very fast by the time it shows up at the station. And we'll, we will deal with those ramifications, but we can at least get two time bonuses. Maybe we can get the third. I, th I think, oh my god, this is like the best switching I've ever done in this game. And oh my god, oh, come on, the fatigue, the button mashing fatigue, it's setting in, come on, <laughs> come on train, <laughs> come on f finger, elbow, arm, I'm spamming my whole arm to press this button this fast, you can probably hear, it's probably picking it up, these are Cherry Amex blue switches, man, okay, here we go, 87, turned in, pow, 60, we still have four minutes, that's another 90 grand, oh my god, Oh my god, come on, come on train, get here. We gotta line ourselves to the D yard. Okay, D4 inbound. D4 is probably gonna be to the left. How fast is the train going? Is it going light speed yet? No, it, it, it just really isn't. It's not even moving. Oh my god, come on. Um, D4 is over this way. We gotta go figure out what the train's doing. We'll line the we'll line the switches later. We gotta get to the train. Why are why are you not why are you not moving? with speed and vengeance. What are you doing? We, we probably melted the traction motors, the DE6, but that shouldn't have stopped the train. Come on. Oh my God. Okay, we're not getting the last time bonus. This was, this was the epic montage of all time and then something has happened. Oh, we left the brakes on. Well, well that would be the problem. We forgot a step. We forgot to close the angle cock. It's fine. Okay, so these traction motors have melted. I'm certain. There's no way they haven't. Yeah. Cut those back in. Come on. Now we've got places to be. Go. 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 Come on. Maybe we can still get it. If you move your fat butt, DE6. Jesus. Uh, Come on, come on, nuke him, nuke him, nuke him. There we go, great, perfect. All right, bring it back up. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh, 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 oh. The, the, the whole water in the cylinders for sitting problem. Uh, right, right. I'm not sure why I would have done that. the DE6 operate things for a second here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Save the sand. Just give us the beans. Leave the beans, take the cannoli. Leave the sand, take the beans. Leave the boys, give the beans. There you go. We're doing 50 through here. Like this is this is absurdly quick. Gonna put it in full dinos. Gonna set up some air on the train, mostly on the locomotive though. Come on, slow down. I don't want to have to wait forever for this brake pipe to recharge. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, we, we, ha we have nuked a traction motor at this point. Stop! Stop moving! K, 
Okay, go, go. You've got places to be. Go, go, go. Yes, yes, wheel slip. Cool, cool. Go, 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 go! I want the time bonus! Blow up the traction motors! To hell with the traction motors! Where we're going, we don't need traction motors! Keep them in! Keep the breakers in! <laughs> Just burn them down! <laughs> I probably shouldn't try and burn down the traction motors. We're ruining the motive power for this time bonus. Okay. Go! <laughs> The ES and DT is back, baby. We're gonna send the motive power off the end of the pier. I feel like, oh god, we haven't lined the switches, too. The four, the D4, the D4, the D4, the D4, yes. Brain. Uh, mm, uh, one, two, three, four. It's the, the center, center track. All right. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna deal with dealing with the locomotives. The locomotives are stupid. Goodbye. Dos Vidania, comrades. Thank you for your service. I'm gonna ride the end, this end of the cut so that I can tie the tie a brake and, and dump the air at the right time. Okay. Uh, brakes, 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 brakes. Actual brakes. Come on. Stop. Let me click on things. Stop. It's like, let me click on things. What? But, but you're doing stupid. Uh, those haven't quite landed in the harbor yet. Uh, goodbye. I would watch them, but I want the time bonus, everyone. I'm sorry. We could watch those engines go into the harbor, but we'll just have to deal with that. We're going to engage Jesus mode. It's got, it has to have been more than three minutes. It has to have been. There's no way we're getting this time bonus, right? Maybe we're getting this time bonus. I don't know. Get me up. Come on. Yeah, 69 minutes. Okay, well, that's, that's fine. At least it was a funny number. Um, and uh, locomotives are now in the drink, presumably. Yeah, probably. There's no way they're not in the drink at this point. We have to go check. <laughs> we have to go check. Uh, God, we've just probably incurred so much fees by doing that. We've probably wiped out the amount of money that we made by dumping those locomotives in the drink. Um, yeah, I think, th I think they're dead, Jim. I don't see a buffer. I don't see locomotives, and I don't see a buffer. <laughs> Someone start playing taps. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they underwater. They for sure underwater. I can hear it. The DE6 is still idling. Oh, and the steam engine just blew up under... What? <laughs> the steam engine just blew up while it was underwater. That is, um... That is... Uh, that's hilarious. You know, I understand why in a code base you would not check to see if the locomotive's underwater. Um, I get that. That makes sense to not do that check because... Um, at this point, it doesn't matter, but it is funny that it happened. <laughs> well, um, yeah, so $260,000. Uh, I have a feeling that John Doe is not going to be pleased with us because of what we just did to those locomotives. We derailed that scrap gone earlier, so we were already incurring some, some debt, some debt to pay, but we just, we just ruined two locomotives in the process of doing these jobs. Uh, was it profitable? I don't know. Will I ever get the last couple licenses? They need a lot of money. And I'm really good at blowing up locomotives accidentally. Uh, okay. So $261,000 is what we have. And our fees are... Oh! Okay. Pay fees to... What? How is it... How is it actively still using fuel while being underwater? <laughs> well, um... Pay your fees to, oh, to reduce the remaining copay to that. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, so, uh, we, we, we just spent more money than we made by blowing up the steam engine and putting the engines in the drink. So we shouldn't have done that. But I wanted the time bonus, and I didn't get it. 
Um, as we said earlier, he's punishing this mortal for his hubris. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, I guess we're in debt again. Uh, and I guess we're gonna, yeah. We can't pay this, despite having a lot of money. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. We'll catch y'all next time.